and we here today with a muck bang. I'm here with a mukbang seafood boil shrimp. This is actually my first time having a seafood boil. I'm not actually making it, really making it, but. It's a seafood like boil bake kind of thing. A seafood boil bake, I have no idea. I just watched a bunch of videos, so. I'm excited. I need, I'm a mess, don't vlog me yet. I'm vlogging, you can't make you no, vlog yet. Well, All right, y'all. Oh, this no. is some good light, huh? Get you first with my contact in. What? We got sausage, we got lemons, we got, let's see what else we got. We got Brittany, we got B-Love sauce. B-Love. Oh B-Love. Girl. Y'all, she's supposed to be B-Love. She's supposed to be editing my video. But First of all, I'm gonna need her to stop trying to manage my time. I have to one day to edit the video. She's the cold ass that. I got, we got corn, we got B-Love. We got Brittany. We got eggs. Sausage. We have to spread our wings out, Brittany. We can't do one thing a day. Okay. Well, Multiple I'm the things chef, a day. The chef said to get out the kitchen. <clears throat> All right. So we here. Finally. Finally. All right. You ready? Yeah. We got the B Love sauce. We got what we got? We got shrimp. We got eggs, egg. corn, turkey sausage. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Hey, y'all, <laughs> the girls. Damn, you coming out of the beginning, y'all. You got Corona. <laughs> And we here today with a muck bang. So we got shrimp, we got eggs, we got. I made all this myself. If you didn't know, I could cook. She I didn't made, make I anything. made everything on this. She plate. didn't make anything. Yes, I'm so excited it. to eat this B Love sauce. I watched so many videos. You gotta get the ginger okay. and the onions in there. Get the ginger and, and the, the ginger onions. and the onions. What they look like? The ginger and the onions are in there with the shrimp. Let's bite it at the same I mean, what time. What I want first? So you shrimp first? Yes. Get a whole bite. Get get like onions and ginger and just take that whole bite i put a little egg on mine i broke up the egg okay bitch. i ain't do all it though i'm gonna get this one right here look at her i can't find it <laughs> oh right here this is too much work <laughs> already i don't like it wait it got shell on it well mine doesn't take the shell off real quick i should have de-shelled them my fault my bad Okay. All right, you ready? All right, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. All right, I'm just gonna put this in my mouth and put some up. All right, all right, ready? Ready? Set, go. Mmm. Yeah. You know what I thought? This what? Don't tell me what I thought was gonna taste like. You don't? What? What's wrong? I like it. You like it? But it's not what I expected. What did you expect? I expected like. Probably you didn't put the coke in it. That's that was optional. <laughs> I like it though. It's good. No, it is good. It goes with seafood. I wouldn't want to eat this sauce for like some regular meat. You know, the ginger with it is what makes it really good. Did you get a piece of ginger? Yeah. Hold on, let's find you a piece of ginger. Okay, this is ginger. Put that on your stomach, and then eat that with some shrimp, and get some of the juices at the bottom. Some of that onion. Well, mm. are you making all these noises? It's so good. All right, let's try it again. Try it again with the ginger. I mean, it's good. I lost it though. This it? No, that's an onion. How does she look like the same thing? This it? Yes, it's a piece of. Well, no, those look like onions. Here, this is a piece of ginger. It's thicker than a. All right, let's try it. It's good with the ginger, right? You didn't have that piece of ginger first, did oh, you? Oh, it's better with the ginger. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm! <laughs> that's how y'all niggas be on. Well, I can't say niggas. That's how y'all be. I don't even look back. Mmm! This is good to me. Turn it up. Oh, I should put some lemon juice on it. Mm-hmm. Some things we're gonna talk about. Well, we really don't know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about something. This is... Um, I didn't get no napkins. This is some expensive drink. That's blueberry lemonade. Okay, <coughs> shut up. Eat it actually. I'm gonna try egg. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna try a shrimp with with some lemon juice on it. Like, like me little. 
it's already like going down my chin. So let's talk about just life in general. What you got going on in your life, Brittany? A lot right now. <clears throat> right now, I just um, relaunched my brand, Sky Charm. So at first, we were selling products like travel, uh, passport cases, and luggage tags. And now, I have converted the business over to like travel concierge services. So I'm like booking stuff for people like hotels and travel and excursions. And then also on the flip side of that, I do tour guides, food tour guide in New York City. So, so like if somebody want to book a trip, let's say like me and my mom and my sister, we want to go on a vacation, right? Mm-hmm. Do you just like come to you and like you plan it out or like what? you go on my website, uh, www.skycharmtravel.com. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Oh, she fancy. All right. I like that. Thanks. What did I you feel do? like that's some rich people she like. You think so? You gotta have some money for that. Mm. You don't think so? No. I mean, like, what's the average price for like a, a trip that you might? Like, it just depends on like what. People. It really just depends because I literally just went on a vaca vacation with my boyfriend. And our round trips to Santo Domingo was about like 250 round trip for you know him and 250 for me. And then the hotel was from New York. Yeah, and the hotel was like it was a Marriott. It was like 55 dollars, and then our Airbnb for two days was 55 dollars because I had a 200 dollar credit for Airbnb. So we didn't what? spend that much. This is so good, y'all. I'm all on your side. But mine's too stacked up. I need some more like ginger and, and onions. There was no napkin. This, this is weird. We can just stack like this. Yeah. All right. I like that. I like that's unique. Like who? It feel like I know people like trying to travel mm -hmm. agent, like travel agents. But like, why would you use a travel agent? In 2020, so it's like if you want to do something like that, you gotta like be able to take people above the that can just find on like Expedia, you know. Well, with travel agents, I'm not really a travel agent. I wouldn't really consider that because travel agent, you only book with them for your hotel and your um, maybe transportation and maybe the flight. But with a travel concierge service, I want you to make I want to make sure that the client has like a total experience. So with excursions, I'm helping you book that. And not only do you get to use my services while I'm helping you book all of this, you use my services as well when you get there and if you have any problems. With a travel agent, it's more so about sale, sale, sale yeah. versus let me help you out when you get there as well and have this experience. Yeah, because I'm just like, travel agent is kind of high. Mm -hmm. And like, I can look that shit up on Expedia myself. Mm -hmm. Well, like, you gonna give me an experience. Like, I can go, when I get there, I can I wanna give you memories. Right. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> Corona. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she got the fucking Corona. No, no. I'm gonna try the corn. Let me stop it up. I haven't tried a sausage yet. I feel like this is so much food. Mm. The sauce is good. I'm trying to potato. So, let's talk about New York. Because we are both, we're not from the same place, but, oh, I got stuff all on my chin. This is so. <laughs> we went to college together, if y'all didn't know. Y'all don't know, because I don't think we ever, like, you've been on my channel, like, you've been on my blog and stuff, but we haven't, like. Right. So, we should, like, give a backstory, right? So, We went to the college together on the ground. Mm hmm. Tell them. And. I'm eating. We're the same sorority. And. We both now live in New York. We went to college in Kentucky. So, as you can imagine, this is a lot different than our lives before New York City. 
So I just got here like six months ago. She been here, you been here for a couple years, right? Um, about two and some change. About two months and, no, not two months. Two years and four months. <clears throat> so, she got a lot more experience in New York than me, but I feel like I didn't done a lot of stuff since I've been here so far, like, it was good knowing somebody coming here. Right. Mm. How people sweet. eat and talk like this? I know, it's sweet. And I'm trying to pace myself because we still got some time to talk. And I'm getting full, so I need to pace myself. This is so messy. Oh mm -hmm. my God. No napkins. So, what advice would you give to people who like, want to move away from home, not even just to New York, but like, if you want to move to LA, like any kind of big city, especially if like, first of all, for me, nobody in my family, everybody in my family lives in Memphis, Tennessee. Like nobody has ever moved far. Nobody has ever lived anywhere else. Um, so I'm like the first person to like venture out in my family to go and live somewhere else. So, what kind of advice would you give to people who like, want to do it but scared and they feel like you know they don't really know anybody well i've ventured out twice uh, i moved to houston in 2015 with my child um, i would definitely say and then new york city uh, in 2017 i would definitely say just take the leap of faith especially if you don't have anything to lose or um you don't have anything any attachments that's keeping you um, in the, the current city that you're in. So, right. So that's like how I feel about Memphis. Yeah, for you, you as a teacher there, and you don't have any kids, excuse me, you're not married, so it's like you have nothing to lose. Like, that's not my career of choice either. So it's like, why not go somewhere where I actually have other opportunities instead of just like staying here doing this job that I don't even like. Right. I don't even want to do. And I tell people all the time, you only have one life to live. Um, so why not do it being happy in another city that you love and that has opportunities for you as well. Um, you just never know. You should just go ahead and take that leap of faith because you don't know what opportunities you should land like when you get to that current city. So. Right. Because <laughs> honestly, I did not... Even like New York was not on my mind. Like uh, when I was, when we, no, we first graduated from college. We didn't graduate at the same time. You graduated before me, right? Mm -hmm. When I first graduated, first graduated from college, I was like, I want to go to school to be. I wanted to go to grad school for like music. Oh, it cut off. The thing cut off. Um, I wanted to go to grad school for like music business, music. Uh. Uh. Shit, I can't think. Music business. <laughs> and NYU has a really good program for music business. So I was like, oh, I want to go there. But like, it seemed so far-fetched. Like, I was looking it up, and I was like, I could probably get in the program. But like, where am I going to live? I don't know. Nobody who lives in New York. I just graduated. It just seemed so unrealistic at the time. So I just kind of like put it out of my mind. And then, fast forward like four years later, I was like, my cousin was coming to New York for his birthday. Our birthday is like two days apart. So, he was like, oh, you want to go to New York for, my, for our birthday, for the weekend? I was like, sure, let's go. So, I like, bought a plane ticket or whatever, like, literally the week before, the week before. It was cheap. And I came up here, and I was like, oh, Brittany, we come to, I'm coming to New York, let's do something. And then, boom. When I got here, I was like, oh, I kind of like it. I didn't even, but I still wasn't thinking, like, oh, I want to, I was applying for jobs at home. I was like, I had an apartment that I still have, like, months of lease left over, like, whole like life that i was not thinking about going nowhere like moving was not in my in my thoughts at all moving was literally not in my thoughts at all so we came up here for that weekend we had a blast literally so i was like oh i'm just gonna apply for a couple jobs literally apply for two jobs y'all like within a week and then literally ring, like ring. the week that i applied i got both interviews to both jobs and then maybe like it wasn't even that long to make it a couple weeks later I came back up here, I stayed with Brittany for a week. And uh actually it was two weeks. The first week I did interview, second week my mom and my sister came up here. We had like a little vacation. I'm hot. So I'm full. <laughs> uh, I got 
guy's job. One of the, the job I really wanted, the interview was so bad. Like, it was so bad. It was just tragic as hell. Like, the, my train was delayed. It rained. I didn't have an umbrella. It was like everything that could have went wrong, went wrong for that for the interview. And then my second interview was the next day at a different place. And I got, ended up getting this job that I have now, which is another. <laughs> that's another story for another day. But the point of it, it was just a way for me to get here. And literally everything in line. Like, one of my friends took over my lease in my apartment. Um... And it just, I'm here now. I literally told her, come up here for your interviews. Stay with me for a couple of days. Do your interviews. And li literally everything aligned. That's why I was like telling her, like, it's meant for you to come up here. Because she ended up finding somebody to uh, lease her apartment. She ended up. And it was like, I didn't even have to find nobody. He was just like, oh, I'll take you. It was one of my, one of my friends who worked with me. At the school that I worked there last year, yeah. he was like, "Oh, I'm looking for an apartment. I'll just like take. I'll just stay there. See? Like I didn't have to go through no issues. Like it was no. It was super smooth. Then we ended up finding you apartment, but I don't live there no more. Yeah, like, <laughs> no either, but it worked out in the beginning. In the beginning, it was perfect. And like, then you ended up literally getting the job the same week you came up here, like basically on the spot. Yeah, it was like the next day. So it worked out. You just never know. Even though uh, many of things have transpired in this last six months. Yes. You've <laughs> done a lot, actually, since you've been here. You've done more than the average person who's from here. So. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, people who are from New York, and I'm, we're not from New York, but people who are, you would think that they just had, like, they shit together. Like, you live in a big city. You always lived here. You got all the opportunity opportunity in the world like compared to like what we had and they just they don't utilize their they resources. don't utilize it at all it's just like they just stay in brooklyn or they stay in queens or they stay in the bronx and they just like are in the bubble i don't understand it's crazy it's crazy to me because i'm like if i had grew up with this kind of access I'll be on 10 right now. Right. Ugh, look at the legs. What? Ugh. And it's not the legs. What is know, it then? I don't know what they're called. That's fucking legs. You just fell them off. You don't eat that. Because you got to take the shell off. That's gross. We have a lot of food left. This isn't even like half of it. There's more like in the kitchen. I want to say stuff is like candy to them. But I guess they always had that access. So it's like. Is they don't think it's that exciting, right? You know what I mean, as we do, because it's like, dang, like you can have an internship in high school and like, or internship in college, like freshman year at like a big company. That was not a thing <laughs> where we went to school, and like, that was not an option. That was zero percent chance. But what I will say about New York is <laughs> this city is not for the weak. Uh, definitely have to seek your opportunity sometimes they come to you sometimes you have to find them and then also you have to be a hustler have multiple streams of income because just one living here listen it's not gonna cut i it. am the prime example i've only been here for a short amount of time and luckily i came here i've always been a hustler like, since i was in like high school but like so a bunch of shit that happened to me since i've been here where if i didn't have no other options I would have had to go home. No, you could have came. I wouldn't have had to go home, but I would have been. I would have been out here bad, down bad, like. Yeah, it's very expensive to. Or work. I would have to continue to do something that I hated. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That that would. I would have no other option. And I'm I'm, I'm not about that life. A lot of people aren't about that life. It just not why. On I mean, and honestly, are. it's not for everybody. And even in New York, L.A., Chicago. I want to say Atlanta because you can live in Atlanta and live. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah. New York, L. A., Chicago. Yeah. Really, just New York and L. A. Chicago is still kind of like. Yeah. But New York and L. A. Like, if you want to live in these kind of places, like you got to be able to like stand on your own. Cause your mom ain't gonna be there. Your dad ain't gonna be there. You will fall. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't got the kind of parents that's gonna pay my rent for me <laughs> or really Neither. do that much they can give me some encouraging words but i mean that's about as far as that's gonna right. go so 
You gotta be able to stand on your own two feet. And some people just are not capable. Nope. A lot of people are babies <clears throat> for their whole life. Like I know people who twenty at my age, twenty five, twenty six, that like mama still mama still pay their car note. Me too. There are some people who can be like that. Mama still pay their car insurance. Like and I get it, like I if, if I had that option, maybe I would do it too, just because like why not? Right. But like <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, my mama offered, I guess. Sure, that's one less bill I gotta pay, but it's like, I'm grown. Right. Even if you should be able to, it's a difference in being like, I could pay if I wanted to versus like, I ain't got it. Right. And I ain't never had it. <laughs> like, it's not like I had it and then like something happens where like, now I don't got it, but like, I'm done. But like, I never had this shit. I, it's never, it's never been here with me. So, I don't know. I think I'm getting the itis, people. I mean, nah. <sighs> <Hell> no. <nah. laughs> I want something, but I don't know what I want. She's the side. I mean, I haven't really been eating potatoes. I haven't eaten. I've been eating slow. You've been eating fast. You ate really, you ate too fast at the beginning. Let's do this or that with the characteristics. Okay. Tall or short? Tall. Okay. Okay. Tall. At least six feet tall. And I'm not even tall. I'm light skin, like dark two. skin. Dark skin. I don't want no. I don't want no light skin man. Maybe since my daddy light skin. Pretty eyes or nice smile. Nice smile. Okay. Pretty eyes. You mean like green eyes or something? Yeah, like green or gray. Ugh. Yeah. What dark skin man got green eyes? All right. Beard or no beard? Beard. Ooh yeah. Beards are nice. Um. Uh, let's say nice clothing, but shoe game is terrible. Or a sneaker head, but his clothes are all right. Okay, well that's too, okay. Shoes matter. Shoes matter. I'm looking at shoes like, where you get them from? Okay. <laughs> you got some shacks on from Walmart. You 20, you, my, if you over 30, you got some shacks on? Some a and ones? Mmm. Mmm. But like, why does it matter if you got on really nice clothes if your shoes are trash? Why does it matter if you got on J's or like some, I don't know what shoes men wear. I don't know. Like, Just like nice sneakers with your clothes are like wrinkled as fuck. You know? Yeah. All right. It don't even matter. Next, um, uh, braids or dreads? Dreads. Okay. Dreads or haircut? It depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Some people can pull off dreads and they not look like you came out of a cheap cute video. Okay. But if you like you came straight out of cheap video, then that ain't for me. Okay, okay. Also, if you over 25 and you just now starting to get some dreads, it's too late. There I you go. go. I got another. These aren't okay, uh funny or intelligent. Mmm. Mmm. Funny. So you don't give you don't care if he if he's slow. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want him to be like super fucking smart. We have nothing in like we, we can't even have no yeah, that like, is true. You know? Yeah. Because you could be smart. I mean, you could be, you could not be smart and be good at stuff. You know okay. what I mean? Here's another one. I know a bunch of dumbass people who got money. Uh, Dumb would you smart. rather for him to smell good or keep a good, like, uh, manicure? So, dirty nails. Oh! Dirty nails, but smell good. Or I you have clean nails that just don't smell like nothing. Okay. I can't have the thir dirty nails thing. Yeah, me either. That's gross to me. Yeah. Don't touch me. Yeah. I hate men who have long nails in general. You gotta keep them. Like, I don't nice. want you to have no nails. Like, niggas who wanna have their thumb and their pinky because you're trying to roll a blunt, like, you're not uh, for me. They make my stomach turn. Mmm. Mmm. Eh. That really makes my stomach turn. Okay, I have no more for the this or that. Brain fart. I can't think of anything else. Okay, guys, let's end this video. I hope you liked it. Our I hope y'all liked that mukbang. It was so was good. Fire! We'll do another mukbang again with different kind of food. Yeah, because this actually took a lot of effort. You have to set it up nice. You have to cook it well. Have good conversation. Next, what, what food are we doing next? Let's do the flaming hot. No, let's do flaming hot something. You know, flaming hot pickles. Flaming hot pickles. And we should do flaming hot pickles and pickle Kool Aid. Kool Aid pickles. I want some Kool Aid pickles so bad. Okay, let's try. Some. Let's try. I want some pickles. You want us to soak some pickles? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, y'all. We gonna see y'all in the next one. See ya. Peace.
Peace.